Oh, good evening, people. Sorry for the slight delay there. We've got our uh, yeah, we've got our top uh, ranger supporter in the chat waiting. Yeah, you know the guy, don't you? Or the guy or lady? I don't know if it's a guy. It probably is a guy. Maniac, I maniac. Yeah, maniac is the the only ranger supporter yet that I have met on YouTube. When I say met on YouTube, I mean come across in chats or on live streams in YouTube. That is. Uh, yeah, he is a decent Ranger supporter. He is uh, probably which what all Ranger supporters should model themselves on. He can have a laugh and he can have a bit of banter. But I have found... <laughs> I have found that they are very, very sensitive to uh, banter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maniac, I don't know about your other range of supporters, but they are very, very bitter people. Very, very bitter people. They're not like the Maniac. Yeah, Maniac. It, me <laughs> Maniac left me a comment. I had to look on, I had to look on, uh, you know, like Google to find out what, what it stood for. It was an abbreviation. A C A B. <laughs> I'll, I'll read you the bits, uh, but I can't read you the expletive in it. So I, I, I will bleep. I will bleep the uh, the sweary word. Yeah, the sweary word. The expletive. The, the swear word. But it is all A A C A B. Yeah, this is from the maniac. Uh, it, it stands for all cops are beep. <laughs> I will repeat that. This was in my this this comment was about my my <laughs> my reporting a, a <laughs> reporting a hate crime incident. Yeah, uh, that that was a live stream. I think that was an hate crime incident. Or whatever it, it, it was that one i done it earlier today but the yeah the maniac was uh, communicating with me trying to give me advice he, well, he was he wasn't really giving me advice he was making his his feelings uh held and he was <laughs> he wasn't giving me advice but uh yeah he was expressing his his uh his <laughs> philosophy on a cab all cops are beep. <laughs> what he was, I don't know if a maniac had been nobbled by, uh, you know, I'm onto somebody that uh, I'm going to go down to my local police station to report an incident of hate crime. Yeah, an incident of hate crime. I've got all the evidence. Yeah, I've got the screenshots. I've got the evidence from the from the words of the. The, 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 the man or woman, whoever is behind the account, that left a, a very, very uh, uh, odious comments on another channel. And I am, I am uh, taken on board and I am going to address it. And when I say address it, I'm going to address it with the, with the constabulary. Yeah, the police, the police force will do their job and they will investigate a crime. An incident of hate crime, yes. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if uh, Maniac had been nobbled by the culprit, you know, the culprit, uh, the criminal, and he, he and the criminal was getting scared and saying, Oh, say something, you know, say something, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he sounded like that, Maniac, or him or her, but yes, the Maniac was making representations. Representations, uh, trying to 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 to, to, to um, maybe get me to swear for it, but I, I don't think I will at this point in time. I think that I have to be the yeah. I have to have the iron fist in the velvet glove maniac. You know, I've gone until Friday, Friday, yeah, uh, before I will go and visit uh, uh, the local police uh, station. 
to report this incident of hate crime against me. Yes, I am very, very upset by it. Yes, very, very upset by it. Indeed I am. Indeed I am. I'll tell you what, I'll be even more upset if I find out that the, 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 the man or woman of this uh, account that carried out this incident of hate crime against me, I will be even doubly, if not tr triply, trebly, <laughs> triply I think is the word for it, upset if I find out that this culprit, this criminal, is a Ranger supporter. I will be very, very, very upset if it is a Ranger supporter. But I don't really think it is a Ranger supporter. It's just, uh, uh, let me put it this way, it's just somebody that's not the full shilling. That's what I would say about that. <laughs> the, the, the silly idiot has prov provided me and furnished me with the evidence from their own, if not their mouth, their comment, their own comments. They make the comments, that, yeah, inciting hate, inciting hate and, 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 and violence towards me through uh, comments in another uh, person's video or community post comment. So it's somewhere, it's somewhere I've got told about it. And anyway, whoever it is that has left the, the, the comments inciting hate crime, yeah, they are going to get reported to the police and the police will the police will trace them. I guarantee you the police will trace them. The police will trace them and evidence also they've gave my name, yeah, my real name and the name of the channel. So they're saying that I am one and the same person, which is correct. I am one and the same person, isn't I? Yeah, Johnny Sparrow's the channel's name and my name is out there. So we so the person has actually committed the incident of hate crime against me. So there's no doubt about that. That is the evidence there. And I will go to the police station with that evidence and they will track down that account via uh, Google and YouTube. Yeah, they'll, they'll find out the email it was created from. If it's all been deleted, they're still going to get it. This stuff is never deleted. I've got the screenshots of the incident of the hate crime inciting violence against me i've got that yeah and from that yeah they will trace they will trace this person this person will be getting caught this person will be getting caught and made an example of all right i'm going to knock that on the head i've just uh, uh that was a little extra uh, information addendum to you let's talk about what this live stream is about at the moment right now let's see look we've got the maniac here yeah you know the maniac let me say good evening to a few people first yeah good evening to the gary fearing how are you sir good evening to the one and only the wonderful the terrific the fantastic the tremendous the absolutely fabulous the gorgeous the beautiful peggy good evening to you darling hope you're doing well and we're going to have a laugh tonight with the Dundee football pitch versus the Glasgow Rangers. Yeah, we're going to have a laugh with that. We've got the maniac there. And then we've got a few people ghosting. Now, a few of these people are ghosting are probably the right nasty, you know, the nasty uh, Ranger supporters. Not like Maniac. Maniac is, uh, he has a laugh, a bit of banter. The Maniac is a, a laugh, a bit of banter. But you've got some of these. Uh, uh, I will call them heat the boys. They, they could be man or woman, but these range of supporters are heat the boys. This is, this is a, a, a translation to Scottish. Uh, heat the boys. You've got heat the boys, and they can't take a bit of banter. They can't take a bit of banter. I've got to spell it out for them. I've got to spell it out for them. Yeah. <laughs> This is an entertainment channel. Yeah, it's an entertainment channel. <laughs> and we're having a laugh. We're having a laugh with the, these Rangers supporters. These other ones, they do or die. Is that the name of them? Do or die or something? They, they, they do not, they do not realise when satire is in the air. Um, get yourself a dictionary out there if you have a range of supporters or go on online and put in 
what satire and uh, having a laugh means and banter and comedy or whatever. We are, we're, we're having a laugh. <laughs> but these range of supporters, not all of them, not like maniac, the, 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 the normal run of the mill range of supporter. The normal run of the main mills range of supporter are intelligent people. They see what they see what when something's in front of them, uh, they know what it is. But there's heat the buzz, heat the buzz, I <laughs> translations. <laughs> For, for non Scots, somebody in the chat give them translation. There's heat the boys out there. They're getting, they're, they want to kill me, I think. I think there's people out there want to kill me. <laughs> because I've just, I've just made a few little videos about the great Glasgow Rangers. <laughs> I'm rowing back in the winter. The great, fantastic Glasgow Rangers. But they, they're getting it, they're not getting excited. They're not getting excited. They're losing the plot, actually. They're using losing the plot. They're losing the plot, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't know. Do you know this? I'm gonna to have to contact Thing Me. You know, John Smith. Uh, John Smith um, from Cardiff. Yeah, you know John, don't you? The fantastic John Smith from Cardiff. I want to find out where he got that stab vest from. You know, like you can get these stab vests because I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to need one. <laughs> we are these, <laughs> we are these, like these Ranger supporters are all up in arms. They're all up in arms. The only good thing about it is I'm in London and I'm, I'm hundreds of miles away and I'm from, uh, from the Ranger supporters. There's a few Ranger supporters in London, but they're not like the Ranger supporters once you get over that border, you know, like uh, the English border in, East, in East Scotland. It's, it's like another thing up there. It's all fanatical. It's fanatical. I mean, I don't think you can even joke up there about uh, Celtic Rangers. They're liable to get chipped. <laughs> If there's any non-Scottish people in the in the audience, <laughs> chipped, very, very famous Glasgow word. Basically, what it is, it means you're gonna get like uh, well, you're gonna get if you get chipped, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be attacked with a bladed weapon. I think that's the, the, the terminology. Chipped. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna get chipped up there. Uh Yes, so what we say is, we say to the Rangers uh, fanatics out there, the fanatical ones, you know, the heat the boss, that we are having a laugh. And we have to spell it out for them. Seriously, you have to spell it out for them. <laughs> I mean, since this live started, there's only been about, I don't know, eight or something people, but like, four, like some of them are, are, are ghosting, you know, ghosting. Yes, they're, 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 up, they're up in Scotland screaming at the telly when I'm talking. They want to kill me. <laughs> Whatever you do, fanatical Rangers supporters, don't chuck things at your TV when I'm um, talking. If you're watching it on, you know, like your TV thing on the internet or your laptop, don't, don't smash it up or nothing. Yeah, we're having a laugh with you. We're having a laugh. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so basically what we're talking about tonight is about this pitch you know the Dundee United uh, no sorry Dundee United uh, Dundee they've got a good pitch I think they're just across the road in uh, Tanadice because you've got Dundee and Dundee United yeah Dundee I think is it is it I don't know if this is the name of the the the, the, um, the actual ground but in the back of my mind Dundee football ground used to be called Bears Bears Den, didn't it? Bears Den. I know there's a Bears Den in, in Glasgow, like an area, a district in Glasgow called Bears Den. But I think was it was 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 Dundee, you know, called Bears Den or was it the Den or something? The Den. You know what I mean? Like I know we've got Millwall down here in London. They, 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 the name of their ground, they call their nickname for their ground the Den. But you've got that, and then you've got the other one called uh, Dundee United Tanadice. But anyway, it's all going to be happening tonight at the Dundee, you know, the Dundee uh, football ground. 
in this game has been getting the uh, uh, what do you call it postponed uh, on numerous occasions. It's been postponed, and I think tonight I just looked at the weather for <gasps> pardon me. I just looked at the weather forecast for tonight for Dundee, and it looks quite good. It looks like sunny right up until uh, eight o'clock. Off and then I don't have anything um, forecasted, so the game is going to go ahead. Now, what happens tonight? What happens tonight? What's, what state is that pitching? It can't be in a good state anyway. You know, we all that water, re, you know, retention and it retained retained a lot of water. It's it's not a very good pitch. So is that good for Rangers? At Rangers, I don't suppose you'll like playing on a bad pitch, will they? This is where the pitch comes into play. This is where the pitch comes into play. You've got them little bobbles on the ground, you know, the little like uneven surfaces and all that. And then you've got the Dundee team who are going to be fired up by knowing that uh, Ross County done a number on Rangers. Ross County beat them. Just reading up about that, that Ross County, whatever it is, there's only about 5,500 people live there. You know, is that a town or something? A, like a small town, village or something? What's that? 5,500? So Ross County have beat the great Glasgow Rangers. Yeah? And then the manager. This is where our fanatics all go do lally. If I say anything about this guy called Philippe, Philippe Clement, Philippe Clement, they all seems to get their backs up up in Scotland. They're all, they all go do lally when I mention this guy's name. What, what's up? <laughs> what's up with Philippe Clement? Yeah, Philippe. When Philippe, when he get beat, when he got beat the other day, yeah. What did Philippe do? Philippe just walks out. He walks out. Um, you know when the final whistle went? Yeah, straight down the down the tunnel. Uh, I don't know if it was a tunnel, but the, you know the way they go off the pitch and that? He just went, the, the shoulders were hunched. Uh, he looked a bit like maniac going down to the pub. Yeah, his shoulders were hunched. And the heat was down. Yeah. Uh, the Dundee, uh, sorry, the Philip Clements, his head was down because he was disappointed that he lost the game. But when when maniac has gone to the pub with his head hunched down, it's because he is uh, He's upset in case he has to buy a round of drinks. <laughs> Many I don't like to buy a round of drinks. It's our thing with the Rangers fans. They do not like to to buy a round. Uh, yes, I bet you any money these Rangers supporters, and they, they, they're all what you you call like uh, round dodgers. You know, round dodgers. You get six of them all going to a pub or something. You know, when at the old Rangers, there's not a team like the Glasgow Rangers. I don't know if that's your song, but I just adapted it for the Rangers <laughs> for the exercise of this video. Yeah, you'll get six of them going to a pub, the Rangers supporters, wouldn't you? Yeah. The unlucky one, the unlucky one is the, the one who buys the round of drinks, you know, the six drinks. What you want? Yes, what you want? Uh, uh, two tenants, two pints of tenants laggers. Uh, what else? Two pints of heavy, uh, a pint of a cider, and a pint of milk for <laughs> a pint of milk for for the other guy. Yeah, the other guy. He likes a pint of milk. So whoever uh, he buys around the drinks, that's number one Rangers fan going into the pub. And then that's when they all start playing games. Yeah. It's when, when the glasses are getting empty, gradually getting empty. There's six of them, isn't there? And as the glasses are gradually getting empty, and you know somebody's going to have to, in it, you know, oh, what are you having? What are you having there? Like, you know, the round is sitting in the next round, isn't it? There's six of them. So, uh, and that's when they all, well, they all excuses, isn't it? Oh, I'm going out there to play that wee machine for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the machine is, electronic machine. Yeah, he, he's dodged off. 
the other one, oh, my way the car, say, I don't feel too good that that pie, I had that round pie. <laughs> There's another one to sell you, didn't it? Yeah, other one. I'm going outside to have a wee smoke, a wee smoke. I'll, I'll join you, says another one. There's two, there's four in them. You've only got one left, didn't you? What, what would she say, the fifth one? Huh? Oh, I can't get signal on my phone. I've got to phone up the wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the old round dodgers. The round dodgers are the Rangers fans. They won't buy the buy a round of drinks. They won't buy a round of drinks. What are you making? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like they won't even buy buy a round of drinks. So this is it tonight. What happens tonight? I don't know. Like, do 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 people? Do, um, you know these away games and that? How many? Glasgow Rangers supporters are going to go to Dundee on a Dundee, on a Dundee night, I was going to say, on a Wednesday night at 8 o'clock in Dundee. Who, who, who wants to go there? No, no, no disrespect to Dundee. Uh, you know, <laughs> Dundee. Uh, uh, you know, Dundee, I want a pen and a cup of tea. You know, that's the way they talk up there, isn't it? You want to, I've got a pen and a cup of tea. You want a pen and a cup of tea? Yeah, but I don't, I don't think it's as bad as that. But but who wants to go to Dundee? Like, let's face it. Look, don't get me wrong. Dundee's a cracking place. It that sort of stuff. But who wants to go up the new? It's no, it's not quite into the summer, in it. Early spring, the weather's rubbish. It's not brilliant, and that right. Who wants to go midweek, like a Wednesday night, be up there in Dundee? For a game, a game of football. Who's going to do that? You will get people. They'll all be gone there. They'll all be gone there, wouldn't they? Probably a lot of the fanatics. You know the ones that are, uh, you know the ones that are after me. <laughs> the ones that want to stick the heat on me. I'm going to stick the heat on you, Jockney's Barra. If I ever see you doing in Scotland here, I'm going to stick the nut right on you. Stick you nut, stick the nut right on you. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, forgive me, forgive me. What have I done to you, Rangers supporters? Huh? What have I done to you? I haven't done a lot, really. But yeah, I don't know. We might have to start easing back on them. You know, I think after tonight, yeah. Look, if Rangers win tonight, yeah, I think I'll not. I think I'll knock the uh, <laughs> I'll knock I'll knock the Rangers knocking <laughs> lives on the head. Yeah. Yeah. If Rangers if Rangers get beat beat tonight, right, listen, this is this is the deal maniac, right? If Rangers uh hang on a minute. If Rangers lose or draw, yeah, draw or lose. We will continue doing the videos, yeah, they're doing the lives and all that. But if Rangers win tonight, I think we'll give them a we'll give them a sort of a what'd you call it? Uh, we'll give them a pass, won't we? We'll give them a sabbatical. I think we'll do some other stuff because I think uh, they've had enough. <laughs> they're very very sensitive and they can't kind of take much more <laughs> from me. <laughs> They can't take much more about, from me about this uh, range of stuff. They take it too serious. I'm not saying the maniac does, but I'm talking about the other ones, you know, the fanatics. The fanatics, and I mean, when I say the other, the fanatics, that's, that's the majority of them. That's like about 90, 99% of the range of supporters. Maniacs only in about the, the, the 1% of the sort of uh, normal supporters, you know, the normal range of supporters. See, Maniac's all right, but we 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 the thing. If if the Rangers win tonight, we 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 we, we, we I think we knock it on the head for a while, yeah. We knock it on the head, I think. But if they get beat Maniac or they draw, because that's just as bad. If they get beat or draw tonight, we'll do another live. <laughs> we'll do another live to, to keep to keep up, up the constructive criticism 
the constructive criticism is very very valuable very very valuable for the rangers let's have a sip of this coffee ah uh, nice cup of coffee oh that's nice yeah so that's the deal that's the deal for maniac maniac has made good representations on behalf of the glasgow rangers you know the glasgow rangers uh what i might do is i might just take a leaf out of gary's book gary fear and he said uh yeah what i'll do is i'll, I'll uh, ease back we'll ease back on the live streams on the rangers if they win tonight if they win tonight what we'll do is we might just do a song or something you know a song about the cheery fans the cheery yeah the cheery fanatic fans that could be a good one in it you know the cheery fanatic fans oh yeah there's karaki in the chat yeah lamby i think lamby might be a ranger support oh, I, I don't think he's he's no he's like maniac he's in the one percent you know the normal supporters he's no he, he wouldn't be in the 99.8 percent uh, of of the fanatics yeah the fanatics yeah lamby the fanatics are after me man yeah i need lucky i'm in london i need i need i need distance i need distance <laughs> and protection <laughs> i need distance and protection from the rangers fanatics they can't take a joke they can't take a joke by the way god them ben imagine living up there imagine living up there yeah if you done it if you don't you had a channel up there <laughs> you know up there up that scotland uh and you, you mentioned uh, anything about the rangers fanatics should be you'd be in danger imagine going down to the shop and all that you go and check any rangers fanatics out there <laughs> they'll be looking for you in sainsbury's or tesco's or whatever keeping their eyes peeled like yeah very very dangerous for the for the uh, uh if you see anything about the in scotland it's not the thing to do it's not the thing to do gary gary says you know gary fearing stay oh hang on what is that stay out of glasgow and northern ireland jockey please yeah I'm, I'm not going anywhere near these places now, now, now that i'm a mark i'm a marked man isn't i I've got a couple of fanatics on my case. I've, I've got a couple of proper, you know, like these um, uh, fanatics. You know, the, the, the fanatics, like, no, no, the maniacs. <laughs> the maniacs are all right. <laughs> it's the fanatics you've got to worry about. Do you remember the guy? This is something else, but you remember the guy? It's a bit like, don't get me wrong, I don't want to uh, magnify this to any great extent. But this is, this is like a, 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 a small version, you know, like a small version. I'm just going to do a comparison, but it's not exactly. But you remember when he done a thing with that guy called Salman Rushdie? Do you remember they put on put a thing against him? Uh, I think it was called a fatwa or something, some sort of... It, it, was, it was an announcement, yeah, uh, that he'd be targeted. Well, I don't know. I'm I'm feeling a bit like there's some sort of uh, there's some sort of a hit being put out against me. You know what I mean? Since I mentioned these Rangers, like you know, I think I could be in in danger. Danger. <laughs> I mean, I could be in danger. I don't think the danger is as I say. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a good few hundred miles away. So I think. Uh, the level of danger the level of danger <laughs> um, I'll, 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 what i'll do is when i go around to do you know when i go around to put the report that inc <laughs> that incident of hate that hate crime incident when <laughs> when i go there <laughs> report it this week through my local police station yes i will run this this past them as well whether i you know do do you think that uh you know i'm in danger 
uh, and do I need any <laughs> do I need any sort of to take any security measures? Uh, and also, am I uh, am I liable liable to apply for uh, uh, protection? Uh, <laughs> police protection. I mean, come on, come on. Yeah, I've worked all my life. I've, 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 um, I've contributed towards society and all that, paying my taxes and everything. Uh, if I get these Rangers fanatics, yeah, out to get me, surely I am entitled to, to be fully protected. Fully protected. Huh? What do you think? Put one in the chat if you think I deserve uh, full protection from the Rangers fanatics. Yeah, just put a one in the chat if I am worthy of protection from the Rangers fanatics. I want to get, I want to see what the people say in the chat because I, I, I will mention that to the <laughs> to the police officer. I might even mention to the police officer. Um, you know, when I go around uh, to report the incident of hate crime, uh, I've got until Friday. I'm, I'm going. Oh, I've got to get this. Uh, you know my 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 uh, complaint well well boxed off to take round. So I've got time to 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 sort that out, and then I might raise the issue. But I might need uh, extra protection because of the Rangers fanatics. Um, have I got any ones in the chat? I don't think anybody's taking any notice. <laughs> Yeah, this is funny, isn't it? I'm going, do you think I am worthy of <laughs> police protection <laughs> from the Rangers fanatics? Yeah. People are just, they're not even <laughs> bothered. <laughs> they're thinking, if a fanatic gets hot of you, <laughs> that's your tough luck. Yes, I am brave. I am noble. I will take my punishment. Yes, I've got a one from. Oh, look, I even got one from a, a fantastic Rangers supporter, a proper Rangers supporter, Lambie. Yeah, I got a good, good one for him. Peggy's gave me sixty nine, so that's more. That's like uh, six and nine. That's fifteen ones. Thank you very much for that, Peggy. Thank you. That's it, Karaki. Oh yeah, no, sorry, the ones have all passed me by. I never seen them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People want me to make sure that I'm uh, well protected. I think even Maniacs, uh, oh, yeah, Maniacs gave me, gave me a zero. So I, I take that as a victory from the Maniac. Yeah, because the Maniac is uh, kept it neutral there. Well done for keeping it neutral, Maniac. Well done for keeping it neutral. Yeah. So I've got some good range of supporters in the, in the chat. Like, yeah, the other ones, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, as I say, tonight is going to be like uh, uh, the crunch night. If Rangers win tonight, if Rangers win tonight, we won't do any more. We won't do any more uh, Rangers uh, live streams. You know, we, we, we will give the topic a swerve. We will give it a swerve. But if they get beat or they draw, because that's just as bad, if they get beat or draw, we will continue with a few more Rangers uh, topic topical live streams. Yes, Rangers topical live streams. That's a way to go, that isn't it? That's a way to go. Like, let's see what Gary says. Uh, Gary says. Uh, uh, Gary says they're going to put John more mural on the. Free Derry Wall if he keeps winding up these Rangers fanatics. Oh, blimey, that would be good, that would be, wouldn't it? To be on one of the mural walls. I would prefer to be on there, Gary, but uh, while I'm still like walking about, <laughs> I want one while my earthly body <laughs> is walking on terra firma on the planet Earth. I would, I would appreciate the mural while, while I'm still, you know, kicking about sort of thing. I don't want a posthumous one. You know, if the Rangers fanatics got hot me, yeah, and they say, look, we've done it, we're going to do a mural, mural for this YouTube guy, like this YouTube guy, on the Derry Wall. Sounds good, that, doesn't it? The Derry Wall. 
yeah, Daddy Wong, like, yeah. <laughs> the Daddy Wong. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? I think somebody should get out there and do a mural and stick it on the Daddy Wong, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that would be really good. That would be good. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> you've sent Johnny, you've sent many a he's a good Rangers fan repeatedly. So am I. I am one of the Rangers fanatics. Oh no, 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 you can't be one of the Rangers fanatics, uh Gav. You're a good you're a good guy, man. You're a nice guy. It's amazing. It's it's actually impossible for Gav B to be one of the Rangers fanatics. I tell you, I'm not trying to be funny, but the actual Ranger supporters that you know of on YouTube, you know, you know of like in um, chats or you know the Ranger supporters, you know, they're all the nice guys, isn't it? You got Lambie and you, Richard Lamb, you got Gav B, two, you can meet two nicer guys here, you know what I mean? Like, they, they, they don't come under the category of the fanatics. The fanatics are the other 99 point, <laughs> 99 point, uh, 9 percent. You're, you're in the one. You're actually. I'm going to refer to to the to the good Rangers uh, supporters as the one percenters. The one percenters, yeah, because that is it. It's only one percent of Rangers. Uh, no, we might make it a bit more than that. Hang on a minute. Five. Uh, the five percenters. Five percenters. 1%, no, I think we stick with the 1% us. The 1% us, because the other 99.9.9% of the Rangers uh, supporters are the fanatics. So we've got the 1% us, and I'd, I'd say Richard Lamb and Garth B definitely come under the, 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 the category of the 1% us. They're the, good, they're the good guys and good good women, you know, the supporters that are in the 1% us bracket. Yeah, they are in the one percenters bracket, and we are happy to see that they have a good one percent of uh, one percent of these supporters. Yes, I've got credentials. Gary says, "Hang on, Gary. Gary knows a bit about this." You, are, Johnny, you have the credentials to join a few nefarious groups over in Derry and Belfast. Yeah. Flip the mail. I'm going to have to check out what nefarious means later after this life. <laughs> and it sounds like it's very. Uh, I've got the credentials for the to join the groups. Yeah. Yeah. Me, it's going on about the salt tire. I I'll, I'll only use the salt tire. Hang on a minute. He's treading in the uh, independence territory. I'll only use the salt tire when we get the SNP out. That's not very nice, uh, maniac. You know, I'm very sensitive about the... Uh, actually, to tell you the truth, look, I'll, I'll, I'll make this quite plain and simple for you. Look, the only reason, right, that if you... Like, put it this way, if you are for Scottish independence, anybody's for Scottish independence and independent Scotland... We've got to vote for the biggest party to, to win them the majority of seats to try and uh, change things to go for independence, right? But look, when Scotland go independent, if it ever does go independent, then the SNP, for example, I've said this before years ago in, in the live and all that, right? What the, the day after Scotland goes independent, the SNP party would have to change. They would probably change the name of it. It would no longer be like a national party. It would be like Scottish uh, Social Democratic Party, something like that, right? Because Scotland, on the whole, you know, the Scotland, yeah, the Scottish nation, the people, the majority of them are all uh, left wing, you know, like lefties. We are, it's a lefty country. Country, you know, left wing, uh, to the left, the politics are to the left. Do you know what I mean? Like, so if I was up there, I would probably vote if Scotland went independent, I would be going for a for a left, a left, left party, you know, like 
socialist party, something like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's the sort of thing I would be voting for. Uh, the only other parties to the right you might have, you might just have a few of the um, the Rangers fanatics. <laughs> They will have a right-wing party, but that will be only a, that would only be a handful of people. Uh, most of the snobs from Edinburgh, and <laughs> most of the snobs from Glasgow, most of your snobs from all the all the, the big the big cities. That's it. That will be your Scottish uh, Rangers fanatical party, right right-wing fanatical party. But in Scotland, mostly the, the politics would change on independence if Scotland were independence. As I say, the SNP would uh, ch have changed the name of their party and the party, the independence would no longer be the main aim and objective. They would have policies like other parties to to compete, to uh, win elections, to run the country and represent people in the country. You know what I mean? But personally myself, like in an independent Scotland, voting for a left-wing party. Left-wing, far left, yeah. Far left, that's me, yeah. No middle, straight, right, right to the far, far left, yeah. Yeah, lefty, a lefty I am. <laughs> and I am proud to be a lefty. Uh, yeah, anybody out there, I don't know if you still do it and all that, but if you if you're actually working and all that, join a join a trade union, be organised in the workplace. Trade unions, union organisation, join a union. Uh, that's where you want to go. Everybody's got their own political things, but yeah, stick to the left. Be be the left left wingers. We are the left wingers. Yeah, I don't know if the Rangers fanatics would like that, but you know what I mean. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if the Rangers fanatics would like my left wing credentials. Yeah, big supporters. I like things like trade unions, you know, trade union, all that. At the moment, I got I got you all the marches on this thing. You know, this thing about Gaza. You know, the Gaza. I've been on, the, on all the big major marches in London all through the protests for the Palestinians to get this. Right, what you want in Pal this Palestinian situation is a ceasefire, a permanent ceasefire and an immediate release of hostages. That's, it, that's the, two, the two objectives. Yeah, yeah. An immediate uh, ceasefire long-term ceasefire and release of all the hostages immediately and then they can start negotiate start negotiating to uh, rebuild Gaza and sort out a Palestinian state and Israel state living side by side in peace and harmony that's what we want that's what we want I think peace is achievable. Peace is achievable in the uh, in in this uh, conflict. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, peace is achievable. Okay, people. Right tonight, I'm just going to sum up because I want to go now. But uh, we'll keep our eye on the game and all that. As I say, uh, I'm a man of my word. The Rangers win tonight. We knock it on the head. We gave, we gave them a bit of peace, yeah? Well, we'll knock the live streams about Rangers and that on the head because, as I say, the, fanat the, the Rangers fanatics, uh, they're very, very sensitive and they can't take it. They can't take the banter. They can't take the banter, <laughs> the satire or whatever. And they're very, very vicious. Very, very vicious and very nasty are the Rangers fanatics. And I'm not talking about the one percenters, you know, the one percenters. That is the, the, the good Ranger supporters like Gav B and Richard Lamb, etc. They are the one percenters. They are the good guys and good women. You know, the women supporters are in the one percent group. But on the whole, the 
99.9.9% of Rangers fanatics, they can't even have a laugh. They can't have a laugh. Yeah, they can't even have a laugh, can we? Even a wee woman, not the 99.9.9% .9 of Rangers fanatics, a wee woman, see, they're the worst ones. Yeah. When I get hoddy, yeah. <laughs> Blimey hell, she's getting excited, isn't she? When I get my hands in your neck, yeah, I'm going to strangle you, Johnny Sparrow. Talking about Glasgow Rangers like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hen, all right, hen, please forgive me. <laughs> oh, what? I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed at my own stuff because I'll get somebody to comment now, you know, one of the fanatics. One of the fanatics, not the Rangers fanatics, I think the comment might still be there or something, uh, said something like, oh, God, I was listening. <laughs> and it was like, he had done my ears in or something, something really nasty. I thought, blooming hell, man. I know what I actually said to the comment. I said, I'll do you a favour and I'll block you so you don't have to listen to this. Uh, I forget the words to use, the, the noise or whatever. I said, I'll block you. Um, <laughs> I didn't block the, the, I thought, I thought, if he doesn't like listening to it, and he's listening well, that's his, he's in tough luck, isn't it? That's his own tough luck for listening to this rubbish. If you don't like it and it's doing your ears in, like, listen to it, man. Get some cotton wool in your lugs. Or, uh, Sort yourself out. Good evening to Kaz. How are you doing, darling? Yeah, Kaz is good. I think Kaz is a Celtic supporter, isn't it? Just talking about these, uh, not these Rangers fanatics. Not all Rangers supporters are the Rangers fanatics. Only 99.9% .9 of them. And then you've got the 1% ones. The 1%ers are the good supporters. The Rangers supporters are good, good guys and women. But you've got the 99.9.9 .9 other Rangers fanatics. Yeah. We don't take no prisoners in Rangers fanatics. That's why I have to I have to review my security. Okay, I'm in London. Yeah, I, I think I'm pretty safe down in London. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for a laugh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do an outside live maniacal like this. And I'm going to go to a pub in London. Yeah. It's called the Rangers Bar. It's all right, you know, gray, uh, blue and white and all, all that stuff. I'll do it. I'll, I'll go in there. I'll go in the Rangers Bar. Yeah, let's see what the maniac says in the chat just before I go. Good evening to Lucky. How are you doing, sir? Uh, wish he's finest. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to this Rangers Bar in London. Yeah, and I'll do a, I'll do a little live or something on on the phone for the Rangers bar. Uh, I think I could even get away with. I won't go in with a, I won't go in with a uh, with a green and white uh, Celtic jumper. That would even that in London would be a bit of an insult, wouldn't it? I wouldn't need you know insult. But I'll go in there. I'll go in. I'll go in the pub. You know the Rangers bar, and uh, I'll show you on the phone in that live. In the Rangers bar. Never been in it. Don't know what it is, but I know it is in London. Yeah, there's a Rangers bar. And I will go in there. Yeah, I will go into the Rangers bar. Yeah. Mind you, there might be some heat the boys in there. You know, <laughs> you know the ones that have come down from Scotland. They could be worse than the ones up there. You know, the Rangers fanatics up in Scotland, they, they, this mob in London, they could be the they could be the real McCoy. You know, like the real McCoy. Yeah, I'll have to be careful with that, but I will go in. I'll go in and I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll masquerade, I'll masquerade as a Rangers supporter. Yeah, I'll go in and you'll hear me going to the bar and going, oh, this is a lovely bar, this, this is the Rangers, we are the Rangers, isn't it? I'll have a laugh with the barmaid. Yeah, <laughs> barmaid, hope there is a barmaid in there. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a bar person, but I'll go in and we'll have, it could be guy or woman, but if it's if, if, if it's if it's a woman, I'll have a laugh like we are, we are talking about the, the bar. You know when I didn't do the live stream? 
you know, all the, the blue and white and all the pictures will be on. It's all going to be plastered with uh, Rangers gear. Rangers gear, like, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, we might do it. What is it today? Wednesday? We might do this Friday. Yeah, I'll let you know it before Friday. Uh, I'll suss it out where it is and all that. And I'll, uh, we'll do the live from the Rangers bar. Yeah, inside the Rangers bar. All right there, there Jimmy. And you got a pint of the old heavy in here in the Rangers bar, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got a pain in the old heavy out there. Do you know how much it is for a pint of lager down in London? I'll tell you this. <laughs> this could be a shock for me going into Rangers Bar. It's about five, it's about five and a half notes. That's how much a pint of lager is in London. A pint of, you know, most of the stuffs. Yeah, over a five. But so I'll go into there, into the Rangers bar and go, I can I have a glass of your best water, tap water, please? <laughs> and chuck in a few of your ice cubes for nothing. Thank you very much there. <laughs> Maniac will be phoning the, the bar. Yeah, listen, Maniac, don't bother phoning the bar to find me. Just phone the bar and say, look, uh, I'm, I'm going to send through, what do you call it? You know, like a transaction thing to pay for this guy's beer because <laughs> he's, not, he's not putting his hands in his pocket, like. <laughs> uh, a pint of your best bitter, your best heavy or a wife in Scotland. I wonder if they've got McEwen's beer in there. I don't know if he's still doing that up there. McEwen's? Is it McEwen's beer? A pint of the McEwen's beer. Or a pint of the tenant's lager. <laughs> a pint of the tenant's lager for me. <laughs> yeah, we'll, gotta, we'll go for it. We'll do it Friday, yeah? Yeah, we'll do it Friday. I'll go down there. Yeah, Friday. Uh, we'll, do it, we'll do it during the day, like, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, hang on. Friday, Friday afternoon, probably early afternoon or whatever. See, I'll check the weather and all that. And we'll go down to that wee bar there, the Rangers bar. Yeah, I hope there's some Scottish people in it. Aye, we're in here, we're all in here, looking at you. You look like you're a Celtic supporter. <laughs> and if I'm in the bar and I feel brave and all that, if, I, if I've sussed it, there's no lot of the hardcore Rangers supporters in there, I might even say on my life, like, no, no, loud or nothing. <laughs> I might just say, I am in the Rangers bar, whatever it is, and I'm a Celtic supporter. <laughs> and I'll, I'll just pan the camera and see if, <laughs> see if we get any expressions from the Rangers. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll say it there, I'll say I'm only joking. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I'll do that, yeah. I'll get a group in on. You know, like a group in the, the, group in the Rangers, they might be, might be in there. I'd say, aye. I'm a Celtic supporter. What do you think of that? Eh? Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to go now, people. Oh, it's been a fantastic little live. I hope you have enjoyed the laughing. Now, as I say, <coughs> my word is my bond. I will do that probably Friday. I'll go to the Rangers bar in London. We'll do a live from the Rangers bar Friday afternoon. Uh, if Rangers beat Dundee tonight, then I will ease back. I will ease back on the uh, live streams so the Rangers fanatics can rest easy. Yeah, they can rest easy. Uh, but if they get beat or they draw, if they get beat or draw, we, 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 we might have to continue with a few more live streams. Yeah. But if Rangers win tonight, we will put the brakes on. We will put the brakes on. Uh, and we will look forward to Friday afternoon uh let me think friday afternoon we'll say look i'll say friday afternoon but it might even be saturday afternoon could be better it's probably saturday afternoon 
Because you might get people going down there to watch games. I don't know, like on the TV and all that, Ranger supporters. So I can get down like into the action. Or are the Rangers fanatics all watching the telly? Oh, they're all shouting there for the Rangers. Oh, the Rangers. We sort, we'll sort something out, yeah? We'll sort, <laughs> we'll sort something out. It might be dangerous if there's a game on, on the telly. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that one. So it could be Friday, could be Saturday. All right, people, have a good evening, yeah? Uh, everybody have a good night. Be lucky and stay blessed. Thanks, Peggy, for keeping an eye on things. Uh, everybody, thank you very much. It's much appreciated uh, popping in. Let's just say goodbye to a few people. Goodbye to the Maniac, Karake, Loki, Kaz. Uh, yeah, we've got most of the people. Uh, Gary Fearing earlier. Uh, wish his finest, <coughs> pardon me, wish his finest, Sir Jim Smith Jr. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, people, thank you very much, and thank you to the fantastic Peggy for keeping an eye on everything. Have a great evening. Be lucky and stay blessed. Catch us on the next live, which will be coming from the Rangers Bar. Yeah, until then, uh, catch you later, my people, my people. Bye for now.